Shelley Fabre, one of the stars of the hit TV show Coach. Younger fans might be surprised to know that Shelley was something of a teen queen back in the 60s. She made movies with Elvis and had her own number one hit, Johnny Angel. It all started with Shelley's first big break on TV when she was just 14 years old. Mother, may I stay at Susan's house tonight? She has grown from the fresh-faced daughter on the Donna Reed show to the sophisticated career woman on Coach. But off-camera, Shelley Fabre has taken on yet another role, one that literally consumes the rest of her life. When you enter the world of Alzheimer's disease, it is frightening and mystifying. From coast to coast, Shelley travels the country speaking out on the needs of Alzheimer's patients. It's a very personal mission that began when her mother was diagnosed with the disease in 1988. There is a particular horror with Alzheimer's because there, we don't know what causes it, so we don't know what to do for it. We can't do anything to stop it. I'm uh, actually here today to tell you a story. It's the uh, story of my mother's life, uh, or more correctly, it is the uh, story of my mother's death as, as I knew her. As a spokesperson for the Alzheimer's Association, Shelley has testified on Capitol Hill and joins families of other Alzheimer's victims at support meetings that help her cope with her mom's illness. Everything, all of her language skills have left her. I see my mother sometimes several days a week, sometimes given my schedule, I'm not there for a week, sometimes on an emotional basis. I, I don't go because it's just too hard. It deserves your attention, it deserves the support not only of all the people in our country and around the world, but of our government. Her husband, actor Mike Farrell, is by Shelley's side at Alzheimer's Benefits and at home. She says it's his support that has pulled her through. He sits and talks to me by the hour. He goes down with me to be with my mother. And he lets me know that it's not only, you know, okay, it's, it's who I am and what I'm doing. And he supports that totally. Shelley has also just been elected to the board of directors of the National Alzheimer's Association. And that's an update from the Hart File.